sky or winter chill If I gotta take a break I will But I'm gonna run right up this hill It is khaki. One month and one, two days ago, I had an extended tummy tuck and an extended arm lift following a, a pretty big weight loss after gastric bypass in November of 22. It has been a two thumbs up kind of week. First off, I want to talk about the swelling. As I said in earlier videos, I had massive, that's the only way I can describe it, swelling, let me adjust this a little bit, there we go, swelling in my abdomen, arms, hands, legs, feet, everywhere after surgery. About 10 days after I had surgery, well, let me say, the morning that I had surgery, I stepped on the scale and I weighed 150 point six pounds so that was kind of where i was at 10 days after i had surgery i stepped on the scale and i weighed almost 171 pounds i had four pounds a little over four pounds of skin removed during surgery so that was about a 25 pound weight gain of just fluid i was miserable I could not fit in my shoes. I could not cross my legs. I mean, it, it was terrible. I expected swelling, but I thought more in the surgical areas. I didn't think about the lower extremity swelling. But I had, I think time has taken care of a lot of that. Like I said, I'm one, one a little over a month post-op. I also did do two lymphatic massages. I don't know if they helped. I know the the swelling got better. I don't know if it was that or time. Don't really, I can't really scientifically attribute it to anything. I do have one more massage scheduled for this Friday. I see in a lot of Facebook groups or comments that people make that a lot of plastic surgeons highly encourage this. A lot even include a few massages in their price. My surgeon didn't especially encourage it. He said it might help, but it would be for the short term. But at that point, I was so desperate. I, you know, I found somebody with good reviews and, and reached out. So who knows? No harm, no foul. So the big news this morning, I stepped on the scale and I weighed 149 Point six pounds. My mental goal weight starting this journey was 150 pounds. So that is a huge achievement for me, a personal achievement. I know it's a scale victory, but that scale sometimes does give us, it gives us angst and it gives us reassurance sometimes. Last week, I weighed 155 pounds, so that to me just goes to show that that fluid is resolving. I'm still obviously holding on to some. I haven't changed my eating, um, so I know that, you know, I'm still holding on to some fluid, and it will resolve. I know it will, so that puts my total loss at 134.4 pounds. That puts my BMI loss, I am down my BMI 25.3 points. My current BMI is 29.2, which puts me in the obese, or no, I'm sorry, the overweight, but not obese category. This is this gastric bypass was the truly the best decision I ever made for my health. About two weeks after the plastics, I did have some regret. When I was massively swelling, I thought, what the heck have I done to myself? I never had a tremendous amount of pain. I really didn't have a whole lot of pain, period. But the swelling made me question. Now I'm glad I did it. 
I knew that I knew I would be, but in that moment, I remember sitting, I, I had to use a shower chair for, I, I took my first shower standing up last night, and I remember thinking, oh, good Lord, I have made all this progress, and look at me now. It feels good to not feel like that. I am going to now, oh, other big news. I have no drain. I went to my surgeon last Thursday for a follow-up. Thursday, I had something alarming happen. I was at work, and I stood up, and all of my front and all of my back was soaking wet. I thought, holy crap, what did happen here? I went to the bathroom, and I had had a hole a little small hole open in my abdomen incision, and this was all leaking out. I had not had much output out of my drain. So I'm not sure if the drain maybe had an internal clot that was blocking it, and this fluid had to go somewhere, so it took the path of least resistance is what I think. I did have an uh, appointment scheduled with my surgeon that afternoon. Thankfully, if I hadn't, I would have called him. He looked at it, looked at the appearance of the drainage because I did have it bandaged up and he could see it. And he chose to leave the drain in and have me come back yesterday to reevaluate. Over the weekend, that hole closed up. The drainage from my drain stayed minuscule, less than 10 mLs a day. And yesterday, he took the drain out. I am so happy. That feels so freeing to not have that appendage sticking out of the side of your body. Honestly, that was it was probably the most uncomfortable part of the whole dang procedure, especially the last couple of weeks. Um, having something in that long, the insertion guy, site was irritated. I was having to tape it to hold it stationary because every time that I moved, it kind of pulled on it, which caused discomfort. So I was just so glad to get it out. I had not been doing any walking like with my dog because every time I walked, it pulled it and it hurt every time I moved that leg. So having that out feels very freeing. I had heard other people talk about the drain removal being uncomfortable. I've taken many a drain out in my professional life, but I've never had one taken out. It was, I, I barely felt it. It could be because I'm still pretty numb in that area, but I could feel a little tug that it was done. So, and I mean, it was in all transverse my abdomen and kind of curled up into my abdominal under under my skin. So it was, it was in a long way. So, I'm going to share, uh, right now I'm going to share a couple of short videos from the night before surgery. So you can kind of see the before and after. Uh, after that, I will insert videos from this morning. Okay, so this is your quintessential in the bathroom pick. <laughs> I don't know any other way to do it except in the mirror. So I'm gonna talk about my arms first. As you can see, I have a lot of loose skin on my arms on both sides. You can see that, I kind of lift them both up. So with the arm lift, I it will, all this extra stuff, it's going to start up in the armpit area and then go down to the elbow. You do have a pretty considerable scar, but it, it's not visible when your arms are up against your body. I mean, if you're raising your arms up, you will be able to see it, but I doubt I'll be doing that very, very often. Okay, so now talking about the abdomen, I'm gonna step a little bit back. As you can see, I have quite a bit of loose skin. I'm gonna to turn to the side so you can see this. It does go around to the back as well. I've got on a freestyle Libre, as I talked about in a 
earlier video, I do have some reactive hypoglycemia when I eat uh, simple carbs. So I just keep that on to kind of give me some warning of when it's gonna happen. My scar will be, the incision will be all across the pelvic area and we'll go, he said, to about right there. So all this is going to be basically taken off and then the skin of the upper abdomen is pulled down over the lower abdomen. Your belly button stays in the same place. They just make a new opening on top of the skin. So there we go. We'll see what this looks like in a, a few months. I know it takes a long time for the swelling to go down. All right, guys. So first I'm gonna show you what my arms look like one month post-op. Here you go. This right side, the scar looks a little bit better, which is strange because I'm right side dominant, but I don't know, but you can see, I do have in each axillary area, a little area right at the bend that is a little, I don't know if you'd describe it as open, but it looks a little different, but you can see, still very lumpy and bumpy and raised. Then this is my left side, more redness. You can see, um, you know, more discoloration on this side. Feels a lot more naughty, but I'm at one month out. I'm gonna try to adjust the camera a little bit so you can see. Sorry, I'm not a professional video. How far down the incision goes. It goes right to the bottom of my breast on each side. So, that's how my arms look. I think I'm gonna be really pleased with the shape as soon as I get done healing. Okay, now to the abdomen. I'm gonna pull this down as far as I can. So, you can see I'm still pretty darn swollen. Still have, you know, a lot of swelling in my abdomen but scars are looking good. Again, this left side is a little bit more bumpy and ridgy, but compared to what it did look like after post-op when I was so swollen, I'm pretty pleased. I think that after the healing process is done that I'll be really pleased with the results, just like the arms. You go that's the videos of the night before surgery and then this morning you have to remember that it takes up to a year for swelling to completely resolve my abdomen and my arms do not look the way that they are going to look after this surgery surgical area has completely healed i'm still very swollen especially in my abdomen the doctor yesterday when I went told me that I can begin doing some stretching as tolerated, but nothing weight bearing. So like in my yoga, no planks, no downward facing dog, nothing that pulls. But he did say I could start doing some gentle stretching. He did also say with my arms that I could um, just wear the compression garment as as to my comfort, I thought last night, I'm going to take it off. I'm not going to wear it. After about an hour, I said, yeah, I want it back on. It just feels, I don't know, it's a security thing, I guess. I am wearing something like a Spanx. And then I'm also putting an abdominal binder low because most of my swelling is in the pubic area and lower abdomen. So when I am at work, I wear that binder. At night, I'm just wearing that abdominal binder low while I sleep. Well, guys, I am going to next week kind of get back to the regular scheduled programming of doing videos that are of interest to the wider bariatric community and not just my personal experience. I will be doing plastic surgery updates, so keep an eye out for that. I'll, I'll be doing those regularly, but I also want to get back to things that, like I said, are more of interest to other people. 
If you have any video suggestions, please drop them in the comments below. If you are considering plastics or have had plastics or you have any questions about my plastics experience, feel free to ask it below and I will be glad to answer any way I can. I'm not a weight loss or a plastic surgery expert, but I am a weight loss and plastic surgery patient. So I'll be glad to give you that from my perspective. I hope everybody has a great week and I will see you next Wednesday. Bye.